Right, I've decided to do a junk in the trunk with this one because it is a discarded, you know, product. It's the tea bags that the tea was in. And so I thought I would do that. I have no idea. I can't remember which one it is. Um, but maybe in the 40s, I think. Anyway, you'll know when I do it. Uh, yeah, I haven't done it for a while. It's just, it's very hard fitting it all in. But so I shall just you know come back intermittently with the junk in the trunk i do the try it tuesday now as well so that's about all i can manage really apart from you know my when i do my journals and things but i sort of what i'm going to try and do whatever i do in junk in the trunk or in try it tuesday I'm, that will be on the journal you know incorporate it in the journal i'm working on at that time so themes and everything is going to change continually you know just depending on what i'm doing so, but it's usually a technique involved. Anyway, it's from these to a nice usable envelope that feels like kid leather. Okay, so watch this space and I'll see you in a minute. Right, so I thought I would um, have a play with some tea bags. I'm going to make some like tea bag paper to make an envelope. So I've got all my dried tea bags there and I'm just going to glue them down. So it's just, um, well actually, it's like a plastic file folder. I couldn't, I usually got the ones with the holes in, you know, the plastic sleeves, but I haven't got any. Can't find them anyway. So I'm just going to stick tea bags on top of each other and make some paper. So I know a is big enough, so for me, so I've done that's PVA glue and I'm going to slightly go over yeah just so I can cut down yeah all right just stick some more on I wish it was flat though <laughs> it's gonna annoy me <laughs> I wonder if I can put something heavy on. Let's look one side. There we go. That will help. Must overlap them. Okay. I should have gaps. Which is the used tea bags as well so we are recycling
Okay, and just leave that to dry now. Mop up there. <laughs> And I'll come back to you and it's all nice and dry. Okay, it's all but dry. There's just a little patch here somewhere that I will, no, just there, that's it, I can feel it. Just still a bit sticky. Okay, so I'm going to take it off the plastic and then dry it off. So let's see. There we go. Peels off. There we go. Okay, I mean, these are quite good if you want to make your sort of bags out of it and things like that. I'm just going to dry that off there though. Okay. Right, so I should make an envelope. So I'll just use a template. Yeah. Um, I'm doing, and also going to use a bit of fabric. Okay, because I'm going to line that with the fabric. So I might as well cut that out at the same time. I'll put that underneath actually. Either draw around it or safety, you know, pin it on and then, which I might have to pin anyway. So, okay. Okay, and then cut that out. I've only done three, that's only a bit. I don't need to do it too much, so. I had to cut around there quite loosely. While I was doing it, I thought there's no point in being precise because as long as this part is, um, because I'm gonna stitch all around here. I'm gonna stitch around the flap, okay? I've lined where the envelope shape is and I shall stitch here. Okay, and I will cut these flaps off of here. I don't need them. And then that will go in and then there. And then I'm going to stitch it. Well, that's going to be the other way. Sorry, because that's the inside. And that's going to, then I'm going to stitch that down. All right, so I'll go ahead and do my stitching. Okay, it's all stitched around. Yeah, and honestly, it, and then it's lovely. Lined with fabric. Okay. And then I thought I'd put a button as a closure on here and then you can go round. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to use some, I'm going to use this or you've got gilding wax, you've got Inca gold and those, that range. I've got this pin flare buffet I bought at the show. So, it's interesting. It's a little bit of mould. Why would that be? No idea, unless it's something else. This doesn't look like mould, actually. Did it first. I'm just going to put some on my finger. <laughs> um, let's start in the back. I just want it sort of here and now. Actually, you can cover the whole thing, but I actually, I really like the way this is looking. <laughs> Let's 
so it just picks up on all those you know highs increases I should say really So you can do it with sponges and things. I'm just far better with my finger because I can I've got the right touch, if you know what I mean. Dad's in a bit more. Getting braver because I'm liking that. Actually feels like soft kid leather when you do this. Okay, and this one you sort of leave it alone for a minute and then you buff it up with a, a cloth. While that's sort of drying, I thought I might stitch on the, oh, and the pens, right, okay. Um, these pens are like, you iron them and then it disappears. Brilliant. If you're doing any embroidery work and you want to do your freehand or your drawing and then embroider it, these are absolutely fantastic. Okay, so, but I don't, didn't use the iron, I use the heat gun. So, which I shall show you in a minute. I'll just get this up. I haven't tried it on paper actually. It'd be interesting if it works on paper. So there you go. Just done it all on there. Put a heat gun on it. And it's gone. Okay. I'm going to see if it works on paper now. <laughs> Out of interest. There's nothing much on there but tea. So let's see. It might, you know, because paper is porous, it might be absorbed. But... Oh, look at that. <laughs> gone. There we go. Um, there's cheaper versions of these ones you can get. Did I show you them all? Um, yeah, I did, didn't I? There's those. Or there's actually finer ones than that. I got them on Amazon and they come like that. They come with two, two or three of those. And then you just load loads of refills. So I, I expect that's a cheaper version, but they're great. Yeah, none of them, and they work. So I'm happy with that. That it worked on paper. <laughs> Ideal. Okay, and let's just stitch a button on. Not sure whether that fits right. I've got this vintage, <laughs> this very vintage thread.
Okay, all right, have I got a tissue to... Um, okay, I've just got some of this. This will be all right. And I just sort of buff it up, really. I don't need to because it's quite sort of shiny anyway. Yeah, just feels like kid leather. And then we can either have a bit of string, which I think I did have some here. Yeah. Well, it's not long enough. <laughs> but it might be. So you could do the and one where it goes like that and you wrap around. I won't double knot it because I might put something else on there yet. Depends where it's going. Okay, and then you can just do that. And then wrap around there like you would the queen envelope. Yeah, so you can do that. I'll leave it like that for now. But that might change. There we go. Nice. All out of tea bags. There we go. From tea bag to an envelope. <laughs> so, from a waste product, use tea bags to something that could be quite easily put into a journal. Like I say, I might change that yet. All right, so I'm going to need to, that's why I don't want to put it in properly. All right, so from tea bag to envelope. There we go. So I think actually we're going to, um, you know, do junk in the trunk with this because that is a disposable thing. I keep forgetting, oh, terrible, I keep forgetting about junk in the trunk, even though I use a lot of recycled things. But of course, you know, your tea bag is definitely junk, isn't it? So, you know, something that, that would be in the bin, really, normally. Yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed that one then, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.